Guppy 1960. You can enter the pad by the directional arrow and follow center line down to position number two. A roll-up door opens on a relatively balmy January morning in Minnesota. Okay, we're still at a plus one on the temp, positive one Celsius with light snow. But the buzz in the de-icing garage Guppy 1632. in control towers at Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport suggests there's something in the air. Iceman Delta 2530. 2530, go ahead. Something besides the aircraft that arrive and depart. We're going to need the ice this morning. Ice. We're on top of the F con car. Is aviation enemy number one in northern climates during the winter months. The clingy frozen substance contaminates and disturbs airflow on surfaces carefully designed to be smooth and aerodynamic. It's weight and it adds drag and it also affects the lift of the airplane so the airplane isn't as efficient. In extreme cases when ice builds up, it can bring planes down. The aircraft coming in here. NASA researchers have blamed icing for nearly 10% of fatal air carrier accidents. On top of the pad for the icing. Guppy 1632. That's why Delta Airlines Twin Cities Hub commits thousands of man hours and millions of dollars each year to de-icing operations. To make sure airplanes and passengers reach their destination safely. We never want to see an airplane take off with contaminants on the wing because it's a potential unsafe situation. If I uh, just need to get de iced today, uh, push back about five, ten minutes. At Delta, the decision to de ice or not ultimately falls on the captain at the controls of each flight. Along the front edge of the wing, a lot of times we'll see what we call rime ice that will develop, and that's moisture that will melt and freeze on the last approach the aircraft flew. Pilot Scott Bowles does a pre flight walk around about 30 minutes before takeoff to make sure the plane is airworthy. That's a Delta tradition that we always have a pilot take a look at the aircraft. And to check for the presence of snow or ice, especially on the wings and the tail. Okay, now we have ice falling, so here's a prime example. As we circle the Airbus, conditions begin to change abruptly. So now most likely the crews will require de-icing. And real quick they'll start the de-icing process. On mornings where temperatures are below freezing and aircraft surfaces may be coated with frost or light ice, two-person teams will board bucket trucks loaded with heated propylene glycol and treat the fuselage, wings, and tail of outgoing planes. We're up almost every day due to either frost, light snow, what have you here in Minnesota, you know how that is. Things shift into high gear on this day as weather conditions quickly deteriorate into a ground blizzard. Iceman, Copus 5717. Pilots radio the Iceman at the airport control center tower. Runway 422 heading towards the 12 left pad. Who steer them to one of two full service de-icing hubs to be de-iced just before takeoff. When heavy snow or ice is falling, a second coat of more concentrated glycol is sprayed to prevent ice from reforming. Next guy in line, probably pushing off of this gate right here. Trucks can also be dispatched to spray aircraft after they pull back from the terminal gate to minimize weight lines and delays. 1632 uh, got you complete. The operation is a ballet of gangly trucks and giant aluminum birds choreographed by de-icing tower crews. Delta 881, Quebec down to spot one. You gotta be very careful. And performed by more than 200 specially trained employees. It's pretty good ice on the leading edge. So. Like Tom Fisher. And, the and, then out the wing. and Vern Hammerston. When he gives me the command, we just head on down the way. The icing fluid steams up, so we have to make sure his bucket doesn't get too close to the airplane. Well, it's windy. It's really not going very far. you got to get in real close. A light de-icing treatment can be done in as little as three to five minutes. Removing heavier ice or snow in the wake of a major winter storm can take 25 to 30 minutes. It is a process that tests passengers' patience in a hurry-up world but taking shortcuts is an option Delta will not consider. We may take a little extra time to do that, but what we're trying to do is provide for their safety and ensure that that, that airplane is safe before it takes off. Copy 501, once you get your wave off, you can contact ground. Have a good day. So long.